It was an absolutely packed house at the Hopkinton Center for the Arts for the Hopkinton High School Honors Art Exhibit opening reception. The students showed off the artwork to family and friends. HCAM News was on the scene. Well, every student picks a focus that they're going to base all their work on throughout the year. And mine has been illustration and showing a story through your work. So I've been following around that through the year. Well, we have a lot of freedom in the ceramics room. And uh, just last year I started throwing on the wheel and uh, steadily I built larger and larger and with a lot, a lot of practice and failures, um, I was combining large pots and um, that's what a lot of my work is, is taller vases. Um, I got into carving with the tools on them as well and making different kinds of patterns and just being able to experiment was a really liberating feeling. So. Last year I made an uh, anatomically correct human heart, which I was really proud of. I think that's probably my the piece I'm most proud of. I have uh, 10 pieces here and most of them are part of my um, AP concentration and so for that I had to cre create things that were, um, they all had a consecutive theme so I chose hands because I thought those were difficult to draw, I wanted to challenge myself but then I also thought they could um, tell a story sometimes about people like some of mine are um, a little deeper in the meaning and some of them aren't as deeper like I have some more graphic ones too. I, th I think I have two favorites. Um, one of them is a picture, actually, it's made in oil uh, pastel of my brother playing guitar. I really like that one. And also I have one that's um, it's called Dream, and it's of three um, pen and ink hands uh, painting like a sky of purple. Um, a lot of my pieces have to do with identity and the positive and negative things that influence someone's identity and um, influences who they are. Um, one of my favorite pieces is my mixed media piece called Sea of Apps. It was on the postcard. Um, it's about technology and um, the positive and negative things that technology can do for us. Um, I think it's important for us to recognize the positive and negative factors that technology has in our life and the way that it affects our communication. Um, I have a piece that I've been working on for months and it was the one that was white with dots on it and it had flowers on it. Um, that's probably my favorite piece that I have in here because um, it was really hard to make and I took flowers individually and sculpted them. And yeah, it was my favorite. Ceramics is definitely one of my favorites. Um, <laughs> props to people that can draw, because honestly, like I don't have any idea how to draw pieces. I like sculpting. Uh, well, I have this piece, which is a um, linoleum print of Paris and Bordeaux, two cities in France. I have um, four pieces in here. I do a lot of pen and ink artwork, and I have one oil painting. My favorite is probably one I did of my dog. It's called Gracie, and it's um, pen and ink with watercolor. I experimented a lot with materials recently. Um, I'm actually in Art 5, so I had a lot of room to just try different materials I've never worked with before. I tried oil pastels and pencil, and I'm more comfortable with watercolor, and that was a big step for me, which actually led to my most favorite piece, um, my Take 5, two ballerinas sitting together. They're in oil pastels and I'm very happy with the growth I've had in that material. I started art classes when I was five years old at Worcester Art Museum and I continued to take water classes, watercolor classes after school um, when I was 10, 11, 12, up to freshman year and now I'm in all the art classes at Hopkinton High. The art show started about um, I don't know, probably six or eight years ago, and I just thought back to when I was an art student and the first opportunity I had to see my artwork up on a wall somewhere, and I remember like what a special moment that was for me, and so that's what made me contact the HCA, and I said, you know, can we have a show of select art students so they can experience that same thing, of seeing their artwork up on a wall, having an opening like, you know, um, professional artists. And so that's how this whole thing started. So each year, the teachers select six, eight, ten standout art students to put into the show. The title is called Honors Student Show, but they're not, we don't have like an official honors level, or they're not designated honors by the school, but they're sort of designated honors by us. And so we select the, the best students from all of our classes and put them in this show that's just called the Honors Exhibit.